Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in today's episode, we're gonna be making pizza from scratch. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with our quote of the day. The mind is everything. What you think, you become, from Buddha. All right, let's get started here. So on today's episode, we're gonna be making pizza. We're gonna, I picked up a pizza stone from uh, Target, 13 bucks. Helps out, makes uh, the dough that much crispier on the bottom. And for this recipe, we're gonna be using yeast. I have honey and olive oil here, a couple pounds of flour, uh, some wheat flour, and some salt. And then we also need our water. The water is our crucial part. Um, it needs to be from one, 100 degrees to 110 to activate the yeast. All right, we're gonna start off by checking our temperature of our water. We want, like I said, we want it to be around 100 to 110. 103, 102. Perfect, it's good. Importance of that is just to activate the yeast. Throw our yeast in here. And then we're gonna add some oil and some honey to this. The honey is very important because it feeds the yeast and it uh, lets it rise real nicely. Make sure you get everything in there. And just stir it up. And we're just gonna watch it rise. So for this next step, we're gonna be using our KitchenAid mixer and our dough hook. We're gonna add our yeast, water, honey, and oil to the bowl. Make sure we get everything in there. And add the rest of our ingredients. This is the both the flowers and the salt. Be careful so it doesn't splash back up at you. Secure. And then I always mix it around the four speed. So for this next part, uh, we're just gonna add a little bit of oil into a separate bowl. Cover the bottom. Make sure we get it all over. And we're gonna let our dough proof. And this is what you're looking for when your dough is ready to go. Nice dough that comes together, fluffs back up once you press down on it. And that's it, it's a nice looking dough. Now we're just gonna take this out of here, put it into our proof bowl. And then we're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap. We're gonna let this proof for about hour and a half two hours all right so now at this point we've actually uh finished proofing our dough you should see it have doubled in size nice and airy there looking really nice so now all we're going to do is just punch the dough and let it fall right down so with the oil on the side of uh, your bowl should help it not stick. For this next step, we're just gonna take a little bit of uh, all-purpose flour, dust our counter with it. And then I'm just gonna roll it in the flour. Just kinda make them into little balls here. So 
So now these are done. Proofing in the microwave again. You should see them double up in size again. Now we're ready to roll. All right, so now for our ingredients that we're gonna use for the pizza, we have pepperoni. We have a, a mix cheese here. Uh, I use a mozzarella provolone blend, so Parmesan. Uh, a little garlic oil. I did a clove of garlic with a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil, equal parts there. And then your favorite uh, pizza sauce. We're using the same stuff that we use at work here. And then I have here um, some durum wheat that we're just gonna spread across on our on our board here to so it doesn't stick. Okay, so now we're gonna bring our our dough. Start off in the center. Keep turning, turning, turning. At the same time, always double check that your dough's not gonna be stuck. Okay, resume. I wanna say this will make about a eight to 10 inch dough. Uh, if you don't like the crust part, just make it a thin pizza. You could just, you're welcome to just roll it out flat. We like the, we like the crust here, so. I just wanna pick it up. Take the back end of your hands and and let it stretch little by little. You don't want to tear it. So there we go. Again, we double check here, make sure that it's not sticking. And we're ready to build. All right, now we have our oven set at 450 degrees. And we put it right on top of our pizza stone. We'll see you in about 13 to 15 minutes. All right. Is done. So as we see, the pizza is done. Cheese is nice and brown. And I add a little bit more of my garlic olive oil butter on the edges. A little bit more flavor and just a little more of shine there. That's it, that's what we're looking for. A nice crispy crust here. Almost forgot the best part. A little bit of a uh, truffle oil. And this is a nice home activity for for the family. Do with the kids, you know. Get creative with it. Um, whatever favorite vegetable protein that you like, throw it in there. I'd say it's pretty good. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, stay tuned for the next uh, recipe.